lovely starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 9 of The Flat Makeover. I'm getting so, so close to moving in right now that there's actually a possibility that I may be moving in during this vlog, which is crazy. I'm basically just running out of reasons why I can't actually live here, um, especially after a couple of days during this vlog, um, a few like big things are happening like furniture arriving, my ensuite should hopefully be finished um, as well and they're all the kinds of things that I was waiting for to actually move in so once they're done I kind of have no excuse <laughs> not that I actually need an excuse I really don't the more time I spend here the more I just fall in love with it like for so long even though we were decorating it it didn't really feel like mine but now it just feels so me like it has me all over it I feel so at home here and I really do just love it so much like I keep just saying to myself this is the most beautiful flat in the world to me. So today I'm doing something really exciting. It's something that I've been waiting to do. I'm gonna do a fabulous picture wall on this wall of my studio. So the idea for this room is I really want it to be like my workroom, um, but I obviously don't really have like an office as such. This is going to be my fashion studio. So I want to just have a really cool like wall of picture frames with cool like illustrations and quotes um, on this wall. I think it will look so cool. So of course I am using Desenio prints. As you guys know, I have Desenio prints in my bedroom at home and I love them so much. I'm actually bringing all of those over here as well but I have ordered a few extras and at home I've got rose gold frames, but in here I want to go for gold. So in here I've got some new pictures, some new prints and all of the gold frames as well. And I'm just so excited to get these up now. Like honestly, they make such an impact and I think it's gonna look so cool. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child I live in wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles used to hold me down Now my feet don't even reach the ground Just like a prisoner when his sentence ends All my dreams are coming true I think I'll go fly into the sky Give the moon a smooch, he's my kind of guy Maybe I'll even give Saturn a try Offers his ring with that look in his eye. Excuse me if I'm silly, like a goose gone willy nilly. And I owe this happiness to you. Love has changed my former point of view. Just like a butterfly, I've got new wings. All my dreams are coming. All my dreams are humming, all my dreams are coming true. Oh my goodness guys, I am so happy with how this looks. I am just, oh my god, I'm in awe. Like I knew it would look good, but oh my god, it looks amazing like this is exactly how I wanted it to look and more it's just incredible it's so me I feel like all of these prints just are so my personality my favorite is of course the Audrey Hepburn cat I feel like this just sums up my entire spirit um and then we've got Coco Chanel I don't do fashion I am fashion we have the little Prada Martha sign um, from Gossip Girl. A few like fashion illustrations. I brought my lovely ostrich as well from my old bedroom with the matching legs, which I think looks so cool. Um, another Coco Chanel quote there. And then a few new ones. We have this dancer sketch, which I love. And also this silhouetted fancy lady here. And I love her as well. She is so glam in statement. And then we've also got this one, which is new. Shopping is my cardio, Carrie Bradshaw. I am just so happy with how this looks. Like it's exactly what I wanted and I think it's so inspiring. It's just perfect for my fashion studio. So I'll link all of the prints that I got down below for you guys. Um, and don't forget, you can also use my discount code on prints. Um, so I'll put that down below in the info box too. <laughs>
Today, Joe, would you like to introduce the vlog, day? No. What? Oh. <laughs> so basically, I don't know if you guys can recognise JJ's attire, um, but I accidentally like got rid of his work clothes. <laughs> so he's having to wear my tracksuit bottoms because he's helping me to stand down the window because guys, I just can't face it. It's the window of death, of doom. Ah! They actually look good on you, JJ. You yeah, look yeah. you look like Joseph. <laughs> so as you can tell, I'm making a very brave return to Bathroom Gate. I actually think that this bathroom saga has overtaken the worktop saga in terms of just utter despair. So at this point, I really feel like I can't trust the color matching service. So the only option is to now mix my own paint again. So this is the original color that I was actually happy with. Um, it's a really pale pink and I'm just going to mix it with some white. Um, I chose to go for satin wood and I'm mixing it with eggshell, which I think is going to be okay because they're both water-based and hopefully it's just going to give it a little bit more sheen because I wasn't completely happy with how matte this was. So anyway, I've got myself a little paint bucket and I'm just going to keep going and mixing it and testing it on the mirror so I can see how it looks against the tile and I'm just going to keep going until I find the perfect colour. So wish me luck. Oh my god, today feels like the most exciting day of my life. I'm not even joking, it feels like Christmas feels as a little child. Um, it's just a day I've been waiting for. Today is the day that my marble vanity top arrives from Stone Age and you may have seen a few clips earlier in this vlog of the um, marble top actually being made. So I got to go to the workshop and actually see it being cut, which was so, so cool, but I didn't see any of like the details or anything close to really um, seeing it being finished. So it's gonna be a really big surprise for me today and I'm just so excited. Like this has been in the works for so long um, and I just know it's going to be beautiful. I just can't wait to see it. <laughs> literally like lost words when I look at this I just I just can't believe it so obviously it was fitted yesterday but I didn't want to show you um until today when the plumber had been and put the taps on so it was like all finished but guys here is my vanity unit 
It is so beautiful and when the cabinets arrived I was obviously really happy with them like they're really pretty really gorgeous but you just could not like get the full effect without the top and now the marble top is on um it just has completed the whole thing it looks so elegant just so princessy and beautiful and honestly guys I just cannot get over how incredible and beautiful this marble top is and you guys have seen the whole journey like right from the very beginning of me going to the stone age workshop and actually looking for a slab of marble that i liked um and choosing this one and then me and my dad like designing the upstand with the little shelves um and everything and then going and actually seeing it being cut this week and here it is like now it's actually here it just felt like it would never happen it just felt like this far away thing that I would never actually have and now it's in I'm so happy and I just can't believe how beautiful it looks like even better than I imagined I mean look at this corner detail so gorgeous and the way that it's kind of bowed can you see it's not actually straight um ignore that little gap in the wall by the way my dad's going to be retiling that um and then of course the little shelves which are gorgeous the upstand has the little um kind of detailed edge the sink has a gorgeous detailed edge as well and i'm just so happy that i was lucky enough to find this slab because it's the most beautiful like clean marble it has a little bit of sparkle in it um and just lots of like natural colors but very very neutral which i think just matches the bathroom perfectly i mean i feel like i could not have got a better match for the wall tiles they just look perfect and with the cabinets now the cabinets now look like a million times better now that they're finished off with the top and they're really beautiful the whole thing it just looks so elegant and incredible so this is what it looks like from the front and actually in real life the color is a little bit um, of a more like warm pink I feel like the camera always makes the colors look a bit cooler but in real life it really is the most perfect pink it's kind of like similar to the color that's in my bedroom at home it's so gorgeous and the doors are just lovely I can't wait to put my things in lots of people were concerned that these um didn't open but don't worry they do and also this cupboard opens as well I mean I guess it stops you know it doesn't open as wide as this one um, but you can get in very easily so if anyone was wondering um, my vanity unit was made by Harvey George um, and they sell like vanity units that you could just buy um, if they fit your space in so many different like styles and designs they have like really modern ones and then more traditional ones like this um, or this one was actually a completely bespoke size because obviously I wanted it to kind of look like it was built in and it's very very large so they do also do like a bespoke service you can have it any color that you like and then the top um comes from stone age but you don't need to worry about like coordinating it because they coordinate it for you um and then stone age just have all these different types of like marbles and granites and any type of stone really that you'd like for the top and they can just do anything you want and bring your vision to life i mean me and my dad literally sketched out this upstand um, and now it's here on the vanity so i mean they really are amazing um, and i'm just so so happy with mine and i think i'm actually going to do a whole day of this vlog in like organizing my beauty products in here because i just can't wait to get them in and i almost forgot that my burlington taps are in which i have had since march um, and haven't been able to put them in so i'm so happy that they're finally in i know loads of people will ask me why i didn't go for gold um, and why i went for silver but these actually aren't silver like i said the camera always makes things look cooler than they are but these are actually polished nickel so if you look on the burlington website you can see the difference between brass chrome and nickel and nickel's kind of like in between and these taps are so nice they're the arcade ones they kind of have more of like an art deco feel to them um compared to the other really super traditional burlington taps um so yeah i love them and i'm so happy they're finally in it looks incredible and i also now have my b-day in place which is very exciting it's a lot bigger than i thought it would be but i really like it it has such a pretty like traditional design then i also went for the burlington arcade b-day tap um to match which i really like and then i'll get the toilet seat sprayed and um, everything still needs to be like sealed in like even the bath and everything like all of this this is not going to look as manky as it looks right now it's not like completely perfectly finished off yet but i'm really really getting 
getting there um, and I just can't wait to start like actually accessorizing the bathroom but honestly guys every time I look at this I am just absolutely stunned I cannot believe how lucky I am um, to have this it's so beautiful um, I love every bit of it and I can't wait to fill it up with all of my products later on this week I'm so excited because my bedroom furniture has just arrived from the French bedroom company. They just have the most beautiful pieces and they will just work so perfectly in my French lingerie themed bedroom. As you can see, this is an adorable little dressing table with the legs sticking out. The um, delivery guys took the box for me because it was massive. But in these two boxes are two bedside tables. Um, so yes, I'm going to unbox these now and I can't wait to see them. Tell me you care You know Joy feels inside of me When you tell me That you're thinking about me now More, more than ever before All can be right in the world When you tell me Tell me freely what's in your heart <gasps> Guys, they're all unwrapped and they are so beautiful i can't believe it they're even more gorgeous in real life than they were on the website these bedside tables are just Oh my god, they're gorgeous. And the dressing table. The dressing table is actually breathtaking. I haven't quite figured out how to um, attach the mirror to the back yet. So I've just propped it on there so you can see uh, kind of what it will look like. But the dressing table is just as so beautiful. I love that kidney shape. All of the detail, like the mouldings. It's just stunning and it's the perfect size. It's really quite petite because I was worried about um, furniture like taking up too much room in here because once my double bed is in, there's not like a lot of space left over. Um, and I was worried about even having a dressing table here at all, but the size could not be more perfect. It's really dainty and petite. So both the dressing table and the bedside tables are the Provencal collection from the French Bedroom Company, which was the perfect range for me. Like they do so many lovely ones, but this was what I literally had in mind like months and months and months ago because I've been looking at like French white furniture um, and I saw these ages ago and just fell in love with them. So I'm so happy they're finally here. I mean, just look at that. So, so gorgeous. And now I just can't wait to get my bed in here and actually get this room into a real bedroom. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So today I have Seamstress Josie in from Tickled Pink in London, if anyone wants to see the full tutorial of the curtain making. That may be pushing it a little bit, calling it a tutorial. Oh really? Oh yes. God. Well, my mum is actually making my bedroom curtains um, from this most, the most beautiful fabric I've ever seen. I'm so excited. Um, I've gone for this gorgeous like green satin stripe. <laughs> you okay? No, oh my god! Get that away from the fabric. <laughs> Such sympathy! <laughs> so as I was saying, um, I have the most gorgeous fabric for my curtains. I decided to go for these stripes in this green satin, which I'm just so excited by. I feel like it will really add something to my bedroom and give it very much like a lingerie feel. And then they are lined mm -hmm. in... Oh my gosh, the most gorgeous shiny pink satin. It's absolutely gorgeous. So both fabrics are from I Live. Um, I looked for ages to find the perfect ones. You know what I'm like, guys. Um, I looked forever, which is why we're only just doing them now. And I'm just so happy with my choice. I just think they're gonna look amazing. So do you want to tell us what you're doing now then and where we are? Well, 
I'm just sewing the heading tape on now, so this is the exciting bit because this is the bit where once this is sewn on, I can gather them up and they'll actually look like curtains. Mm. Um, and you've lined them, haven't you, with like interlining? Oh, yes, so this has been a bit of a headache because, well, I don't actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I've put interlining in. Um, and is that what makes it really like thick just and luxurious? Makes it luxurious, they're just gonna look fabulous. Um, but it's quite fiddly and it makes everything, it just makes everything more complicated. But I really think it's worth it. I really regret not interlining um, the lounge curtains that I did. Mm. Um, so yeah, so Ooh. fingers crossed, that look lovely. Exciting. You don't look too close. <laughs> Guys, we have a curtain. It's not finished. My mum still needs to um, just finish it up, like hem the ends and bits and bobs like that. But we just wanted to put one up to see how it looked. I'm so happy I decided to go for this fabric because if you follow me on Breakfast at Freddy's, you'll know that I was very torn between the stripes and another more like traditional damask fabric. Um, but I decided to go with the stripes because I just thought they would add a little bit of like a different vibe, like a different texture, a contrast, everything's really like decorative and floaty in here. And I thought that it would look really cool and it does, it's very luxury, I am obsessed. Um, and I just can't wait to see what they'll look like when they're finished. My mum's also going to be doing a balance, so you won't actually see the tops of the curtains like that will be covered um, so it'll look a little bit prettier and I'll also get some lovely like tie backs um, for the curtains but yeah they're looking gorgeous and it's starting to feel like a proper bedroom now <laughs> Today is a day that I have been so looking forward to. I'm going to be putting all of my beauty products into my new vanity. And I know this isn't strictly like part of the flat makeover, but I know you guys really love to see this kind of thing. Um, so I'm gonna show you. So I've brought all of my beauty products from home. These two boxes are full. There's like cleansers and toners and exfoliators in there. Um, moisturizers and serums and eye creams in there. Um, I've got like two bags of hair products, all of my perfumes in there. That's like body stuff and fake tan. There's more like shower gels and stuff in that one and then face masks in that case. Um, and then I've also got some of these storage baskets from John Lewis, there's two in there and a few more in my car. Um, and I'm hoping that it's all going to fit. I'm quite optimistic because there is a lot of storage in the vanity, um, but we'll see. I am very excited to get them all into a new home. So I'll show you what I'm working with in terms of storage. So as you can see, there are two cupboards and five drawers, except the top drawer is a little bit like a small, awkwardly shaped drawer um, just for the sink. So I feel like in here, that's where I'm gonna put like toothbrushes, toothpaste, I don't know, cotton buds, razors, like those kinds of things, my contact lenses, like just little bits and bobs basically. So then I have four um, drawers that are this size. Um, so they're pretty big and quite deep as well. They're like 20 centimeters deep, which is amazing. So I'll fit lots in there. And then I've also got two of these cupboards, which are pretty spacious as well. I measured them out and I should be able to get two storage baskets um, on each shelf. So I feel like that should be enough, but we'll see. Singing a song like a bluebird Love comes around and you finally found an excuse Love says come here and a voice in your ear whispers new words 
Love hunts you down till you're pinned to the ground, it's no use. Love comes along, turning right into wrong, so deceiving. Love comes to town, now you're chained and you're bound, it's a trap. Love turns the old into new. You learn that your lies are all true. Love comes along, now it won't be too long, that's a wrap. You'll be enchanted by those big doughy eyes, so inviting. They'll leave you stranded and tied till you're high and dry, no use fighting. Ain't it exciting? Love comes along, and old heartache is gone in a glimmer. Calls your name, all your pain is erased in a flash. Easy to fall for its charms when you're lying there in those arms. Love comes along without warning, you're bound for a crash. Wait for the crash. You can't. So, guys, I'm all done filling my vanity and I'm really really happy because everything fit perfectly um, which I guess I was nervous about so I'm really really pleased so I'll quickly show you what is where so currently the top three drawers are all empty obviously because um, all of that like everyday stuff is still at home so first of all over in this cupboard this is where I'm like keeping my storage skincare so this is all the skincare that I'm like saving waiting to use um, so in the top here I've got this storage basket that's full of like cleansers and toners and that kind of thing my micellar waters didn't quite fit um, so I've just lined those up in the middle and then in this purple vanity that's where I keep um, all of my face masks like my sheet masks and masks in a pot and a tube and that kind of thing um, and I'm glad that this fit because I feel like it's a really good case for my face mask it's where I've been keeping them at home for like ever um, and then down here I have two more storage baskets um, full of skincare this one is serums and this one is all of my moisturizers and eye creams then in this drawer which is definitely the prettiest drawer I put all of my perfumes and body lotions um, I will actually probably take out a couple of these perfumes and put them like on the little vanity shelves but I kind of haven't decided on what the um, setup is going to be yet so I just put them all in here for now but it looks really good everything fits <laughs> which is a relief um and I'll definitely have perfumes out on display anyway so um a couple of them like they won't all be in here all of the time and then underneath I have my hair care drawer which is very very full um this currently has all of my shampoos and conditioners that I've been sent and I'm waiting to use and also all of my like wet hair care products because not all of my hair stuff actually fit in here so I decided to separate it by like wet hair products and dry hair products so this is all the stuff that you like leave in like leave in sprays and oils and that kind of thing and not stuff like um dry shampoo and hairspray and then in this cupboard on the end um I have in this top basket this is full of like body care so like body scrubs um kind of a few more body lotions that aren't like my pretty perfumed ones shower gels um and that kind of thing and they all fit perfectly and then in here this is my like dry hair drawer so this has my um kind of like finishing sprays hair sprays um dry shampoos that kind of thing back there in that vanity and um, that's all of my like travel products so i have a lot of travel minis in there and also um all of my sun creams and SPFs so they fit perfectly in there which is great and then in here I have my fake tan which is looking quite empty at the moment because I left a few of my tan products at home because you know they are essentials so that will be a little bit more full um, but good that I have somewhere to keep it all and then I also have another little purple vanity case that's gonna fit in there but that's where I'm gonna try and put all of my nail stuff because I left that at home because I didn't know where it was gonna go but actually I think all of my nail polishes and like files and that kind of thing will go in that vanity case and I can just pop that in there and that will literally be everything except for my makeup but I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys but I'm having also a matching tall boy unit from Harvey George um, going by the shower and I'm really hoping that my makeup will all store in there. So guys that's the end of this episode of Breakfast at Freddy's. I didn't actually end up moving in. I honestly thought I might but 
that wasn't to be this time but i know that in the next episode i will definitely be moving in which is very exciting but i hope you enjoyed the episode nonetheless and i'll see you guys very soon bye <laughs>